making a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that goes to my mind when I'm actively making a bad call is that I'm not making a bad call. Bad call, it galvanizes the team's cause. No matter how I call this, somebody's gonna get pissed off. You've been asked before how you prepare for a game and you responded you choose games that are totally boring and lopsided so you don't have to do any work. What happens when you actually get a game that, in theory, should be really close? Well, every game has a lot of close plays. The Vampire close games, I mean, most games turn out to be closer than you think. And they can be down by 10, up by 10. And they're still, they will still be furious with uh, the call. Do you believe in the practice of makeup calls? That used to be the norm, actually, maybe like three or four years ago, where, where people would be... Teams would be very adamant about... It, you always want. Which meant that they were okay with like a close call going against them. But they wanted the next close call to go their way. Pylon calls are... I'm trademarking that. Um, pylon calls. Where you complain about a close call that could go either way. In objective terms. And when you complain a shitload about it. Um, next one's going against you. So is the next one. And the next one. And at that point, I'm just trying to see if you guys got the nuts to fight. You think you have better questions for Sam? Send them to wsleditorial at gmail.com.